Welcome back guys, so episode 2 of Attack on Titan Season 4 has finally released, it's called Midnight Train, a uh, much easier name than the last one. So let's get into an analysis, uh, a little bit of a recap, and uh, what we think is going to happen next. So this episode is more about an analysis on the actual characters that we saw from the last episode and who we're probably going to be seeing for the next few episodes, the Eldians living in Marley. So this episode really just dives into about how these Eldians in Marley are living, uh, why they are, you know, siding with Marley, what they're going to do, stuff like that. So it's really not anything that's progressing the story, which is why this uh, video is a little bit shorter because it's really nothing big other than how the characters act and what are their, you know, motives. So we start off with Zek who tells the military of Marley and that he's with that he is going to take back Paradise Island in one year because he only has one year left to live. He's been the Beast Titan for 12 years now which means he only has one year left obviously. So he just talks about how he's going to take this back and he also bonds with his successor Colt. Uh, they're just talking, you know, he doesn't know if Colt is ready to really wield the Beast Titan. He also lies to Colt about why he is able to do what he does and you know Colt tells him do you have royal blood and he tells him I don't know but obviously we know he does because uh, uh, Gresha Jaeger, you know, married uh, someone with royal blood, and that's the kid. We also learn what our main characters have been up to in these past four years. So, Zek talks about how they sent a total of 32 ships to Paradise Island, and none of them have come back. And so, obviously, that's, you know, you think, okay, so Aaron is a Titan, and he's destroying these ships that are coming, because there's no other way. However, Zek believes that there's not just one Titan, there's two. So, that leads us to believe that Armin has finally mastered the Colossal Titan, and is also helping Aaron destroy these ships that are coming to Paradise Island. So, that's pretty cool. Meanwhile, Reiner is having a lot of nightmares about Mikasa. It's shown how much PTSD he has from the years he was on Paradise Island. And uh, we also find out how Galliard, who I told you, Porco Galliard from the last episode, who has the jaw tie in, how he got it back. Uh, I guess uh, Reiner brought Yimmer back to, uh, you know, Marley. And, uh, you know, Galliard ate <laughs> Yimmer and uh, got back the jaw tie in that was part of their family, basically. Uh, he doesn't really like Reiner due to Reiner, uh, you know, being helped by his older brother and getting sacrificed, and that's how Yimmer even got the ability to transform into the Jaw Titan. So they do have a little bit of a, you know, heat situation, but uh, it's all calmed down by this one uh, girl, Piek, who is actually the Titan, that we, the other Titan that we saw in the last episode with the guns strapped to the head, uh, who was shooting at the people. So that is the transforming one, and that is also the one that helps Zek uh, back on Paradise Island, I believe who had the little crate, and, uh, I mean, you're seeing it now, but I'm pretty sure those are the same Titans, um, I'm not too sure, but I, definitely she is the Titan from the last episode who was aiding, uh, the Jaw Titan, Gallard. So, the rest of the episode of Midnight Train is just talking about, uh, basically these Titan, these Eldians who are helping Marley, and what their life is like. Uh, we find out that Gabby is probably gonna be the next successor for the Armor Titan, but Colt, and, uh, you know, he's actually doesn't want that to happen. And Falco specifically really doesn't want that to happen. Falco even criticizes the fact that she'll die at 27. And, you know, Reiner gets upset about that, but he's actually agreeing with him. And he's like, you know what, you should probably try and get the armor Titan. So that way Gabby doesn't get this terrible fate that is pretty much going to go into her. Because Gabby doesn't really know what's about to happen when the armor Titan comes around. She just thinks, I'm going to help, you know, Marley. We see Reiner struggling with his family, uh, just talking about, you know, the basics of what went down in his time in Paradise Island, and you can see he really changed over those years by his mom's expression and the way she feels towards him. And they also think he's lying about Paradise Island, which I think is pretty interesting, uh, because, I mean, he's pretty much is telling the truth, but they think they're lying because they're, sus they're to believe that uh, the people on Paradise Island are all evil, when actually they're not. And that's pretty much it. The episode is just sort of highlighting on the characters. We also see at the end that Zek and Reiner have a plan, or really all the Eldians there have a plan on getting Paradise Island back. They are going to use the Warhammer Titan, who hasn't been introduced yet. However, it seems to be held by the Tiber family, who is very prosperous because they were the ones who helped uh, make the Eldians leave Marley all those years ago back in that great titan war or whatever so apparently those guys are going to be holding a festival and they're going to announce their involvement in the mission take back paradise so that's what's going to happen in the next episode thank you all so much for watching uh thank you for 200 subscribers by the way that is a huge 
big deal. I will be making a 200 subscriber special video. Just wait. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.